Hey guys, today I'm filming System Test 19. As usual, I can't quite remember where I'm at, so it very well could be System Test 18, and it very well could be System Test 20. I don't think I'm quite that far, though, but I could be clear up there and not even realize it. But anyways, to begin, I've made a decent amount of changes to the fire alarm system. First thing is, in the Firelight Mini Scan 112, you'll notice that I've started to put some metal conduit over here. I said in a previous video that there was exposed wires because I didn't have the PVC conduit. Well, I replaced it with the metal conduit. This is half inch EMT. Um, I'm using set screw connectors and if we open it up the panel you see that I have these PVC uh, bushings if you want to call it that. And these are required by code so your wires don't get cut by the connectors. And also you may notice that the wiring has been uh, cleaned up to a certain extent. And also I've put some heavier gauge wire in. Instead of using the 22 gauge I have some 16 gauge in there now but some of the old 22 gauge is still there. Let me go ahead and slide this cover back on. I can never do it one handed. And something I kept in mind whenever mounting all this was to keep the door to where I can have the key in it and slide it open and it will fit right in there. I have a brand new back box and cover there as well. This is a 4 and 11 16 inch box. This is what the System Sensor MDL and Wheelock DSM sync module mount to. Other than that it's usually just used as a junction box and for the box and cover it's about $8. So a very expensive box. I don't know why it is. Then I have an extra deep 4 inch box up here with a system sensor P1524 horn strobe, 15 candela with a piece of duct tape over the horn and this thing's actually very quiet with that duct tape on it. I got that in the fire alarm lot and the stuff out here I also got in the same lot which is a Wheelock WS3T12 12, 12 volt strobe and a notifier BNG1 TS pull station. You may notice also out here that both alarms, the pull station and the strobe, have the word fire written on the left, right, and right in front of them. So basically, no matter what angle you're looking at, you're going to see the word fire. Also, that noise is just a dehumidifier here. Uh, that also explains why we have a garden hose running through our basement. Um, that's where the water comes out and goes into this drain. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for my explanation. Uh, I guess I should include these alarms. I have the usual RSS. The smoke detector is still up. And as you can see, I did convert the wire for this pull station, which is the 2099-9756. So, we're going to activate the system with the BNG1TS and just basically pull it straight down. Here we go. Here the spectral alert is sounding. Go ahead and get our notifier key to reset. Now in camera that strobe appears to be pretty bright. Really it's not. And something I'd like to do today is test my smoke alarm again because I took the piece of tape off of it so you'll get to know what the true volume of it is. So I'm going to test this briefly. As you can hear it's pretty loud. But uh, that's pretty much it for my system test. Um, before I go, I just want to say I've done a good bit of work also in my security system. But still, there's not really been enough done to make a system test video. At some point, I hope to do one, though. Um, first thing I need to do is, I have this door contact complete here. But the one that's on this door needs to be fixed. I need to buy the motion sensors I need. And uh, then I should pretty much be ready for a video of that. Also... 
For those of you who are not aware and did not watch my fire alarm for sale video, I have Edwards 270 SPO pull stations, but they're all missing switches. So if yours, say, is really scratched up or something and you'd like to buy them, they don't have switches. I think I have like eight of them. This one's an AIP, but it's the only one that's AIP and it's actually in really good condition. This one here used to be in functioning condition, but just the other day the wire leaks came out of it. So, um, I have those. Also, I have two Kid A B5 pull stations. Um, again, these don't have switches, but, uh, this uses like a BG10 style pull to, er, not pull station. This uses, uses a BG10 style switch, and also it has the brake rods, or at least this one here does. I don't know if the other one does, but, uh, this uses just a regular toggle switch pretty much. In fact, you may be able to get them at Radio Shack. I haven't even tried looking there yet. But um, if you're interested in any of these, I'll probably take a pretty cheap offer on those. But anyways, that's about it. I'll see you guys later, and thank you for watching.